this is such a flop. I'm <laughs> low-key upset about this because this was going to be this story that was going to be my favorite one. It's a combination of a wedding dress, bathing suit, and, and bandages. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be taking a first look at Sisters of the Sea, which is a mermaid story. I cannot explain how excited I am for this story. I absolutely love mermaids and anything to do with it. So I have really high hopes for this one. There's also been a update within the game about the selfie. So I'm gonna be taking a look at this first. If you are watching this in the future or you're just in generally not interested in this, please refer to the timestamps. They will also be in the description if you don't wanna see that. But without further ado, let's Let's get into the update. So there is a new selfie option, completing the duo, stickers, everything that actually Nikki already had. So it took a little bit, but I'm happy. So let's take a tour to see. We have decals and borders. We even have layers to work with, which is great. This is amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, and then we even have filters. I will assume, honestly, that money of the new stickers and filters are gonna be paid. In my prediction, I mean, obviously I hope not, but my predictions are they did this because I have seen so many amazing people on Instagram making the coolest edits and they probably felt like they had to step it up because everyone is using other editing apps to do this. Are there more poses? What is set? <gasps> Oh my god. Okay, so if you have, I think I, oh, it's only if it's compatible. Okay. There was this glitch someone showed on Instagram as well, where you can use the animation that are locked for a certain outfit, but here they are just available. I mean, they're not compatible and some of them are locked. So I think you have to have at least like an item of it. I don't know why these are locked. Oh, and we have burst shots, which are just several at the same time, which you can pause and still slide through. So cool. Then we also have the posters. Okay, if you press save, it will save to your album and then you can put it in a poster that's pretty cool i really like that and you have friends so you select a second friend you can finally combine people together oh my god okay so i can make two selfies and then can i also like resize one this is amazing this is such a huge improvement to what it was before you cannot save these as your selfie but you do save them to your album and your device and you can make new collages with them this is such an improvement i'm so happy with this okay let's move on other things that are new in, in the update is a new background available for purchase this is again 10 euros going with the new story that we have i assume you have cool water ripples it's cute it's 10 euros so we're not buying it but just good to know now it's time to check out Sisters of the Sea. This was 45 book tickets and it's two chapters. Let's start taking a look at the outfits. Everyone is saying, I hope we get a tail. I definitely do hope so, but I feel like we're only going to get mermaid style dresses. Very high expectation. Let's take a look. So there are nine outfits we can go through, starting off with Pulls of Life, which is okay. I'm not so much fan of the colors or the shapelessness of the dress. I do, however, want to take note. Look at these boots. They're so cute. They're super high up. I feel like this, the shoes definitely are the winner here. It combined with the sleeves. So much so, I don't really like it as much. I would say two out of five. Next up is Dreaming of Home. This gives me very much Romeo and Julia's vibes because they also have the same type of dresses. I, ooh, I love the bow in the back. The bow is really cute. It's giving me very much Aurora vibes, which I very much like. This is definitely, I think, a four out of five for me. I think it's pretty. The hair could use a little bit more dimension because it's very flat in the collar. But other than that, four out of five. Then we have Ode to the Spring. And oh my god, this looks like a Lucky Jerry outfit, which I don't think it is. They're all four star or less. All straight up, five out of five. I love the way this looks. Back is very wing-like without making it look very awkward. I love the double layers. The hair, uh, pink hair that they pull off correctly, I use all the time with the pearls and everything. I love this. The hair piece as well. The front parts are just, uh, I'm such a fan. I'm, I'm a big fan. Number four is Dazzling Sea Star. It's giving Cinderella straight up. I know Cinderella's dress is like silver, not blue, I know, but it's, it's the staff, it's the hair in the bun. I'm curious to see where this comes in in the story because it's mermaid, right? It's Ariel, it's not Cinderella. Overall, I think the dress is cute. I like the asymmetrical vibe. The hair is just a big miss. It just looks like she forgot to use the toner. It's too yellow. I would say three out of five because it is very princessy. We love princess look. The next one, Marine Goddess. Um, I see where they're going for, but it's 
it's just a mess. It looks odd. You can almost let it slide because like it's a mermaid story and the hair flows. Hair is a big flop for me. I do like that the, the hair piece is separate from the hair itself. And oh, these are also separate, which I do like. I don't like the colors in this. No, this is like a one out of five. Is that too harsh? I don't know. This is just not my style at all. Then we have Mermaid Legends, which I think is the closest we're gonna get to a real tail, honestly. And I hate the dress. This dress is ugly. We gotta talk about this. Like, why do we cinch in the waist, cut it open to even expose the waist, and then put the little flippy de flops right there? Why don't you put it, like, right here? It does not look flattering at all. I hate the spikes at the bottom. If it's a mermaid dress, it should be, like, super tight fitting. This is too loose. It almost looks straight down. This is such a flop. I'm <laughs> low-key upset about this because this was gonna be this story that was gonna be my favorite one, but everything else is great. I love the accessories. The hair looks good. I love the the little hairpiece. This is even a Lucky Jerry dress. Come on. No. I would say five out of five, it was like perfectly fitting. And if the little gills didn't sit there, so I'm going to go lower down to four out of five for just the accessories. Uh, but this ain't it. It ain't it. Creamy bubbles, however, does pull it off. I feel like this dress is way more flattering. <gasps> I love everything about this chest piece. I love the corset. The I just love the way that it's just so much. It's so much so that it's too much, but it's good too much. I love this. This is straight up five out of five. I think her vile knife thing is really cool. It has great accessories. The hair is beautiful. It has curls. It has purple and blue. Way more flattering than the last dress. Definitely five out of five. This is also a beautiful dress. I don't like the top as much, I must say. I think this is kind of dated looking and like in a bad way but the bottom the bottom of the dress has again so many different fabrics so many different shades of red and detail and this just is a very rich pattern which I think is so royally compared to like I don't know I think this is kind of tacky hair Ooh, I love some cute pigtails I love the hair as well especially the accessories will go well with a bunch of outfits we've already had in the past I'm so much fan of everything in the top here but the bottom and the top top great so I'm gonna give this a four out of five again almost there it's just almost right and sadly our last outfit and no real tail honestly if they're ever gonna do it they're probably gonna make us pay just like they did for the real wings i don't think that's happening unfortunately i don't like this <laughs> it makes her look like she has like super short hair but she has a bun personally i don't like it makes her look old the way it looks from the front i was re-watching princess diaries the other day and it kind of looks like the grandma whatever her name is again the dress itself i think the butterflies are cute especially on the back but again you, do, you don't see the bun or the butterfly so what's the point put it on the front i don't know it looks like she fell she got wrapped in literal bandages and they just put jewelry on it and they called it a day it's a combination of a wedding dress bathing suit and, and bandages this this ain't it i'm gonna be rough here this is a one or two out of five i'm gonna give it a two out of five because the shape of the dress does accentuate her nicely better than the real mermaid dress did she just looks old so those were all the outfit that was kind of a bummer not really but we didn't get what we all wanted uh, let's be honest here all right so let's have a look at the store if you're interested in knowing there are seven blueprints you can straight up buy and this is how much they cost and these are the six items you can buy to use for crafting and such so i'm just gonna purchase it real quick and then we're gonna move on to lucky jerry i have around 450 tickets so i'm saying let's do 150 lucky jerry pools i feel that's quite generous enough i mean there were two of the three outfits i did quite like so i feel like it's a good investment in a way starting off with the first 100 we got some cute socks okay pretty good we got the hair piece Man, i did like that one so i don't mind it at all next up we have <gasps> okay not the dress i wanted but, but i'm not gonna jinx anything right now i'm not gonna say anything but we got okay okay and we got some socks that was very nice for winter outfits i think We got another six star. What? All right. Another six star? A five star shoe. What is going on? Did they change the pool race? <laughs> what? Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm gonna I'm about to lose it. What the hell is this? And we got one relic. 
five star ring. Okay. <laughs> You're telling me I pulled 10 times and I got no duplicates and all these six stars. I mean, I didn't have anything on the story yet, obviously, but normally we get so many duplicates on the first and relics and stuff. <gasps> I'm almost afraid to do another 50, but we are going to do it. I don't know if it's going to be a big mistake. That was insane. That was like four or five, six stars. <gasps> all right. All right. All right. All right. Another necklace. Yeah, first duplicate. Why not? Why not? Let's go. <laughs> okay, another another one. Just we got the sleeves. That's so cool. I love that. All right, out of 150 pulls, we got one relic and one duplicate. Yo, <laughs> I owe you one, uh, Jerry, what the hell? For the companions, we have per usual actually just three. We have first off Lucas and he's giving me very much Prince Eric blondified vibes. Just the hair, the outfits, the ugly boots. I think he's cute. He's got very much um, Vincent vampire vibes. So. Outfit cute, he looks fine. We have Alias. He's not it. Definitely not the outfit, definitely not the boots. Can't say much about him yet, but so far, go for Lucas. Do they have the same face? I swear, they just keep copying the same character. They look exactly the same in the face. Am I wrong? It's just the nose that looks a little bit different. All right. And then we have Lenore, who is short. She's tiny. Do they compare to these models? She is so tiny. Love her hair though. I wish we had that in her dress. Traded for the mermaid dress, honestly. Now let's just level them up real quick and have a look at their relics. All three are now on level five and we get, ooh, sacred crown relic. Her Hers is pretty. I like that. Then we have kinship tears again because we also got through the lucky Jerry and they have the Azornian trident. So I assume he's a merman. We have some blueprints that came with it as well. Now that we have finished looking at everything, I'm going to start reading the story. And per usual, I'm going to give you a little review after a few chapters that I've read. Again, my expectations are really, really high. So I will be critical. Give me one second. I'll be right back. I just finished the first three levels and I'm happy to say I am in Infested. I like this story so far. It is great. So I'm just going to be going over quickly what it's about. So far, so we are on Dean and our little sister, Marion, is actually like the Ariel of the story who went out to save a boy who was a prince and she died, turned into sea foam, trying to save her. And he, I don't think, I don't think he knows, but we're like, okay, we got to do something. So we go to the male version of Ursula, which is just sea wizard. And he's like, you got to destroy this thing that's at a ball in two months from now. And you got to push the clown who killed your sister into the ocean we're like okay that's done deal so we go into being human we walk around we trip and of course the prince was just struggling down the street and we almost get hit by his horse of course he saves us and we be like oh no what happened we look up and it's like oh shit it's you we pass out out of anger i think and we wake up in the palace and he's like oh my god i'm so happy you're okay and we're like uh, but at least we're here now for some reason we're now like a special guest who can help in the palace for the preparations which i think is kind of odd also there's like this thing between humans and mermaids that got separated for a while but everyone knows that they exist i think in the movies no one really knew about mermaids so they had to keep it a secret but they talk about mermaids openly but we hide that we're mermaids so is it a secret is it not a secret like so we got invited to this quick like ball event uh we flop that because we embarrass ourselves so we leave to talk to a goldfish where then uh alias shows Shows up who apparently is a guard so that would explain his questionable fashion choices and his ugly boots and we dance because every man wants to talk to us apparently love that but that's it so far honestly i'm very excited to see where this is going i have still very high expectations so far i would say i recommend this story i'm so excited for it still there are quite a lot of blueprints as well that we can basically straight up craft i think most of these just only have some basic things that you need so that's also good to know i love when we can immediately craft some items because i like seeing stuff so i'm doing that real quick i only have four blueprints left over which is insane i feel like this is normally not the case so again a very big win on the story just put together an outfit that we could make uh, seeing the dagger now makes me think is this is the one that we need to slit his throat with um so maybe a little bit darker than i thought overall i'm so excited about the story if you can predict I'm, I'm definitely recommending this one it has so far looked the best and the story 
story sounds fun. Now, I want to know what's going on. So I would say definitely a must read. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think so far? And are you going to play this? Are you catching up with anything? And also let me know how your Lucky Jerry pools are going because I am absolutely stunned in how well it went. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And with that being said, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.